Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. I'm good, I'm good. I mean, it's early morning and I'm exhausted, I must say, from all the dancing, but I'm great. <laughs> so do you just want this thing over? Or are you just like, please? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear what you said. So do you just want this whole show over? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, the part, part of me says, yes, please, I, I want it to be over because I am really been going on for a long time from the show to the tour uh, to the show again. So I'm physically exhausted, but I, I have such a great time during the show that part of me, you know, says, well, I could probably do it a couple of more weeks longer. I don't want it to be over. We, we have we have really good time, and, and the group of people this season uh, is phenomenal. We had such a, um, we, we're such a, you know, kind of, we became friends. So you say that you're, you know, you're so exhausted. Obviously, the show is pretty intense, but you're a professional dancer by trade. So do you find that you have to train more for this TV show than you do just for your regular co competitions and other things that when you're in the, I guess you could call it the Dancing with the Stars off seasons? I, I think it's a little bit different training. Um, it, first of all, since the show started, we did not have a day off. Um, and that's the most exhausting thing. When you have only a week to prepare a dance, mm -hmm. then later on two dances, you cannot afford a day off. Mm -hmm. So when I would train for competitions, maybe I would train more um, intensely, but here and there I would have a weekend off, and that would recharge my batteries. At this point, I mm -hmm. think everyone is, is just exhausted from, from not having a, a minute to rest. But if you get off the show, Edita, does that mean no more spray tanning? Because you're about <laughs> the most tan woman I've ever seen. <laughs> no more spray tanning. I actually didn't get any spray tan last two weeks. I didn't have time. Imagine this. Oh, Ooh, no time I'm, for a spray I'm, tan? Uh, yeah, I've been only using whatever the, the body makeup they have. And mm -hmm. that's it. I, it's, it's amazing. I, I had no per minute for spray tan because I've been dancing so much. Okay, so I do have a quick question because you y'all wear the most beautiful costumes and dresses and everything, but um, some nights I see the ladies out on the dance floor working dresses that are dangerous. Have you ever had anything just come spilling out of a dress? Not on the show. I had a, you know a little things when something would be sticking out in the wrong place. <laughs> I didn't really have a a major problem and. I think the reason uh, why is because we have a rehearsal right before the show um, starts the same day where we dress, we are fully in our costumes. Mm -hmm. and if there's anything wrong, we cover all the problems right after the dress rehearsal. Now, obviously, there are things that happen, like to Kelly Monaco in the first season, but that's, uh, that's really rare. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are to get voted off and it... You know, you and Jason say goodbye to Dancing with the Stars. Does ABC fly you away to a nice little island vacation, or you just keep working? No, they, they fly you the same evening to New York um, for Good Morning America, whatever you lose or win. Um, you know, you're still um, working for a couple of days doing press. No, they don't fly you, but I, I can promise you I'm going to fly myself because I, I, I I need a serious vacation. <laughs> <laughs> a vacation you been working. Of, uh, <laughs> full of feet uh, massages, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you like foot massages? Oh, oh, my feet are hurting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, best of luck. And uh, what's, been the, what's been the scariest thing for you so far this season? Anything you can tell us about? I think facing the elimination every week, it's really scary. And, and for some reason... I think I care even more this season than any other season. So I, I guess, you know, I put all my heart into it and all my work. Mm -hmm. and, and also, I don't want uh, my partner um, to be voted out because I know how hard he's working. Yeah. It's just, it's just so hard to face this mm -hmm. red light and, and this dramatic music and, and know that your fate is not in your hands, but mm -hmm. in, in the end, in the end of the audience that voted and... It is just a terrifying moment. Although I know it's television, but in that moment, it's terrifying. So before we let you go, Edita, are you going to be back for another season of Dancing with the Stars? You know, I have no idea. This is actually decided by producers maybe weeks before the actual season starts. So I will know, um, uh, you know, only before the maybe two weeks before the training for for a season seven will start. But 
I would like to. Okay, well, good. Good. Good to hear. And and hopefully, you know, hopefully you win, and hopefully you get to get some rest too. Okay, my friend. For sure, I'll get rest, and with winning, we'll see. I'll do what I can. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, good luck. Get some sleep. Thank you. We'll see Bye-bye. ya.